Johannes Stahlinger, Humboldt Universität zu Berlin. Sympatex, Similarity Search for Richly Annotated Structured Patient Cases. So in the single year 2015 at the Charité University Hospital in Berlin alone, more than half a million patients, almost a million patient cases were seen and digitally recorded. Now, when a new patient comes in, wouldn't it be great if we could use all that information from previous cases to provide clinical decision support based on similar patients seen before? Or if we could use all that knowledge to mine and difference different courses of a disease and to characterize just about what parameters make for a good or a bad outcome of certain treatments. Or if we could easily identify clinical cohorts for studies. Now the problem is that clinical patient records, even though digital, mostly still look like this. They're vast, which, makes them, which make them impossible to analyze for humans, and they're unstructured, which make them difficult to analyze for computers. And that's exactly where we come in. We take a four-step approach where we first look at each individual electronic health record and add rich annotations extracting clinically relevant entities such as diagnosis, findings, lab values, medications, anatomical sites, procedures, and negations of all of those, and especially extracting mentions of time, we transform those bundles of documents into structured representations. Carrying over the rich annotations from the first step, <clears throat> we want to learn exactly what happened and why it happened and when it happened. And we also especially want to make computers learn that. So when we have a new patient represented in such a way, and we have a previous patient represented in the same way, we can define similarity measures that can discern a head from a chest in this simple example, and tell us that these two patients are actually not all that similar. Whereas a, whereas a different previous patient might be much more similar to the patient at hand, and even similar enough to infer treatment options and suggest those treatment options to a doctor. Now, once we have such similarity measures, we want to apply them at scale and enable similarity search over whole populations of patients to, in the end, allow for use cases such as clinical decision support, <coughs> disease differencing and characterization, and um, cohort identification for clinical studies. And that's exactly what we're doing in the Sympatix project. My name is Johannes Starlinger, and I want to thank uh, Oliver Blankenstein at the Charité and Ulf Leser at Humboldt University for their generous support in this project. Thank you very much.